hey y'all and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time go ahead and click the subscribe button for all my return subscribers thank you so i finger detangled my hair with some olive oil before i started the process so the shampoo that i'm going to use is the main choice because it's a very moisturizing shampoo so i just went and shampooed my hair in the sink and now i'm going in with the um cleansing sorry cleansing co-wash by Eden Body Works. This is like one of my favorite co-washes. I think it does a really good job of detangling my hair because y'all my hair gets so so tangled. Okay so I just take my time section by section. Yes it takes a very long time. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to y'all. Y'all know I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna keep it real but when you take your time your hair will thank you for it later so i go section by section and i have to put a good amount of the co-wash on there because my hair gets dry really fast so what you didn't see on camera i don't think i captured it but i always keep a water bottle like a spray bottle handy because sometimes by the time i get to the next section my hair is already dry and we all know that when you are detangling especially with any type of brush then it's better to detangle when your hair is wet so usually i will uh detangle with my um not my denman brush what is that other brush i can't even think of the name of the brush but i'll sometimes i'll use that it's just like a hand brush that you can use today i used the denman brush because it has a handle and i felt like my grip was better with the um denman brush okay so the brush i was talking about was a tangle teaser so sometimes i use my tangle teaser but i just switched it up today and i was get i was glad with the the switch that i did and you can see that the co-wash does give my hair a little shine so when i'm done i put all my hair in into four sections and then I go back to the sink and I rinse it out I rinse it out section by section and then I will rinse all of it together so once I've rinsed that out and make sure you rinse all the product y'all because I understand like doing your hair is a long process trust me I know because I have a lot of hair but sometimes in the past I would be in a rush and I wouldn't do a thorough rinse make sure you do a thorough rinse I was drying my hair off with one of those microfiber towels sometimes I use a t-shirt but I typically do not use a towel because the towel sometimes still make my hair um, it'll make my hair a little frizzy so if you have a microfiber towel use that t-shirts are great as well the leave-in conditioner that i'm using is by it's a 10. the only time that i use this leave-in is when i'm about to put heat on my hair that's it other than that i use other leave-in conditioners that i think are beneficial for like natural hair as far as keeping it moisturized so then i go in with my um my heat protectant the one i use is by tresemme i've been using that ever since i went natural so about 10 years and i use my revlon blow dryer brush now this is some true tea i was like one of the first youtubers to actually do a review on this brush if you think i'm lying go back and check the facts okay so i was a small i'm still a small youtuber so i was even smaller then i use this blow dryer brush and then after that, like all the major YouTubers started doing their reviews on the brush. And then that's how I ended up getting more reviews for my videos. So I wouldn't hate and I was actually glad because it brought me more views. But I've been having it for a long time. I think it's time for another one because, um, I don't know. It got hot, but I feel like it wasn't getting as hot as I needed it to. So it took a very long time for me to blow dry my hair. But again, I just took my time, listened to some music and got it done. So about 45 minutes later, I was done blow drying my hair. Honestly, I was just over the whole process. Y'all can look at my bathroom and tell y'all it is hot. Okay, it's just a lot of a lot of heat, a lot of just running the blow dryer for a long time. So I was hot, but at this point, I was just going through and making sure that my ends weren't tangled because the ends of my hair tangle really, really bad. Almost to the point to where it's hard for me to style my hair sometimes unless I do like a bone straight. Um flat iron so what i'm doing is i'm just going over my ends to keep them from tangling and then i go to the root and then i press it out in the root just so the style can be a little bit more sleek because i'm not going for like a curly look and i don't want, want my hair to like you know totally revert either when i go to sleep so that was the reason for me doing a pass at the root and then doing a pass on my ends this really didn't take as long as I know it looked. Um, I was trying to show y'all from the back the length. Now, I will say that my ends need to be cut. Um, typically, I will trim my ends myself, but I am going to let a professional trim my ends because I'm just kind of over there too. Y'all, I just be tired. I just got like way too much hair and I want to keep it. I want to cut all of it off. So I'm just trying to, you know, 
outsource some of the things so then i'm going in with my camille rose almond j butter to put on my hair because at this point i felt like my hair was like too silky and sleek to try to get the style because i'm going for like the deep wave crimp style so instead of me adding water i wanted to add a good amount of the moisturizing cream so that it wouldn't totally revert but it would still kind of um make it stick and plait a little better if that makes sense so at this point i'm just going in and i say plaiting because this ain't no braid okay i ain't doing nothing to the scalp i'm just doing plaits i'm gonna do four plaits all over my hair because again i'm going for like the wavy crimpy look and i don't want to put any more heat on my hair i just want to choose to do it the natural way saying that my arms were tired during this process is an understatement because I went from braiding in the back to taking it over my head to taking it to the side to taking it underneath y'all it was just a whole process so when I finally got to the front I used my um child I got it upside down I used my Ken 2 um edge control to lay down my baby hairs because I don't I need to get me like a little small flat iron where I can do my edges really good to lay those down a little bit so I don't have to use so much edge control and I just kept doing the same thing just braiding and then I put a satin bonnet on it and went to sleep so the next day I woke up I didn't put any oil or anything on my hair I just um went straight into taking down the braids so my hair was really soft so I was excited about that but I feel like maybe I put too much um heat on it and not heat as far as like damaging but i think instead of doing the root i should have left the root alone and just went over the ends because if i had left not um took the pass the heat pass over the roots then maybe it would have looked a little bit fuller so i think i was looking for more of a fuller look you'll see at the end but overall i do like the way that my hair turned out um i didn't put anything else on it because like i said i already felt like it was soft and i was afraid if i put too much oil on it that it wouldn't look right so this was the final look overall i really liked it just next time like i said i was just going for more of like a, a bigger look so i wouldn't do the heat in my scalp but um thank you guys for watching so much please subscribe to my channel leave a comment and until then talk to you guys later bye